sexual reproductive health services. Esther Diana attended the wellness event at Mukurukwa Ruben and prepared the following report. <laughs> At the tournament and HIV screening forum at Mkuru Kwaruben that attracted over 1,000 residents, HIV screening and family planning were the most procured services. It was noted that stigma on HIV victims is considerably low, even as self-stigmatization is high among individuals as many youths, especially men, do not visit health centers willingly due to the misinformation that health facilities are only for women and children, old people and the very ill. We've been able so far to serve uh, 700 clients so far at different uh, entry points. We are having men also who are taking the services, especially HIV testing. We are targeting this area specifically because of the teenage pregnancies that are high prevalence here in Mukuru. The tent that I've seen that's most visited here is the HIV service tent. Additionally, acknowledging that HIV rates are low following collaborative efforts Efforts from stakeholders, it was noted that Mukurukwa Ruben residents are very receptive to HIV testing services. However, there are more new infections being recorded amongst the youth aged 15 and 24 years. Further, it was pointed out that football is a good avenue to attract more men as traditionally they do not protect healthcare services easily nor visit health centers. For women, it is very easy for them to seek the services because of their children. And recently with the floods, there are several people who are displaced including uh, women and children, and that leaves them at risk of SGBV and even rape. When it comes to cervical screening, it's not something uh, women take up easily. With this background, having more men turn up for HIV screening and counseling was lauded as a significant milestone. Lopata condom is the best family planning, and it's the only family planning in you prevent HIV and you prevent STI. Once you are tested, if you turn HIV positive, you are put on medication immediately, which is called test and treat. We are also here to help adolescent and young girls to know more about HIV, how they can be able to prevent it. The issue of teenage pregnancies and sexual gender-based violence was also addressed. SGBV was said to occur more often in the informal settlements as most women are unemployed. Teenage pregnancies were said to be on the rise with little information on the matter. At Mkurukwa Ruben Center alone, there are 500 teenage mothers. Statistics have shown that every year 18,000 new cases of HIV are recorded as well as 3,000 death cases of HIV are recorded. Now this particular event today is looking to address this, create awareness on HIV prevention and mitigation. For KT News, I am Esther Diana in Nairobi. Now for more than four years now, residents of Mukuru Kwanjenga have been unable to access medical services at Kwanjenga Level 4 Hospital located in the area. This is because of the sorry state of the Embakasi Girls Road that leads to the medical facility in the sprawling Mukuru Kwanjenga slums. The residents are now asking the government to intervene and make the road passable in order to access the facility. Our reporter, Catherine Imuraget, visited the area and prepared the 